Hey guys, here with a sort of quick vlog and uh, test video. In this video, I'll kill two birds with one stone. Uh, this is both a an update on the Shrike mod right here. As you can see, it's almost done. Externally, it's pretty much done. And then it's also a sort of a test video on Swiss cheesing a piston. Um, with the Shrike mod, I wanted to get a little bit higher rate of fire. And um, at that... Um, for me to do that, I actually had to um, sacrifice a little bit of feet per second. So, using the Swiss cheese mod, it's supposedly supposed to uh, raise your feet per second a little bit by decreasing the weight of the piston so it, that it can um, accelerate faster, the spring doesn't have to work quite as hard to get it moving quickly, and that small increase can increase your feet per second a little bit. So, just by drilling some holes in here um, I've taken a couple grams off the weight and um, this is just a stock JG piston this is what came in the JG 416 as you can see um, I just all I did really was drill a bunch of holes in the top and it still has the um, the little the metal block in there which the um, the piston head goes into I might actually take some of the instamorph that I made this out of and instead of having that metal block in there, I might take some of the Instamorph, make the backside of the sort of like a little nut to uh, secure the piston head on, and that'll take a, a lot more weight as well. So hopefully I can do this um, pretty easily. I just drilled some holes in there, as you can see, a bunch of holes. Um, and that sh this shouldn't reduce the structural integrity much. I also cut out some of the, um, the railing on the side. Um, just sand that down a bit to reduce friction and a little bit of weight as well. Um, as you can see, I've also um, corrected for angle of engagement. And there's not, not really any wear on that. Let's see if I can focus. Yeah. There's not really any wear on it. And sorry, it's, the piston's so dirty. But um, this piston's pretty much fine. So uh, we will see how it's uh, performing before doing this. Um, I mean, I kind of thought about making a vlog after I decided to um, do this mod or do the Swiss cheesing of the piston so um, I didn't really get to film before and after but before it was shooting about 360 uh, 355 to 360 so here we have um, the Shrike mod pretty much um, this is how it's gonna look just have to put a stock on it and put the grip on it, like I said but um, I have the fake ammo belt in there. All it is is just an ammo belt right here. Um, got this online. And then a hole drilled or cut into the box mag. It's not even a clean cut, but it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it behind the ammo. The fake 5.56 rounds. Um, so those fit in there like that, as you can see. This is just an ANK box mag. Bought it from a friend um, for relatively cheap. Or for really cheap, actually. Um, it's just a spring-wound box mag. There's a uh, winding wheel on the bottom, like a, your regular high-cap magazine. Didn't want to spend uh, a fortune on a box mag that I was going to cut up and possibly ruin. So, um, just got this from a friend. And it's actually, there's a <laughs> very convenient little space right there. If you take off this plate right here, there's a space that I could actually probably put in a little motor, a little battery, and make it electric. Run a wire out to the pistol grip and uh, make this auto winding so maybe in the future I'll do a tutorial on that who knows but as you can see charging handle has this little movie piece like I showed you guys before um, I just put a um, vertical grip there so I guess now it's a horizontal grip but I'm um, just put it on the side because I thought it looked cool have my bipod there um, legs aren't extended but they extend out um, have my rails painted the whole gun so it's not um, white and camo anymore but looks pretty good as for the other side here's just a brief look as you can see I don't have a gearbox in there but um I think it looks pretty good I'm very happy with it so far can't wait to get it all fully functional and put together but um just unscrew this little piece right here pull the um this little tab out and then this part pops open as you can see and then you can easily just take the ammo off 
as, um, right here I have just a little paper clip like a little hook Let's see if I can focus on that yep just a little hook and then here I have paper clip made into a loop so then let's see if I can get this all on camera it just connects um, there you go connects like that and then once you put this down and you hear it click you can spin that to secure it and then since it's attached to the RIS below this is not moving this whole piece is extremely secure I mean any movement there is just the gun moving itself so there's no problem with putting optics on there um, they'll stay firm with um, the rest of the body of the gun and um, as you can see now there's not enough room for these the ammo belts actually fall off now. so it's secure on there and not coming off so I'm actually very happy with the construction of this it's not like fragile at all um, I mean unless I slammed it against a tree or something uh, I have not yet tested the durability of the uh, the uh, instamorph with like getting shot with a BB but being that it is this piece is so thick I don't think it's really gonna have any problem um, I'll make a test piece that's this thick and shoot it from various distances and see how it um, reacts to being shot. But that is pretty much uh, the overview of the Shrike mod so far. And now let me put this um, Swiss cheesed piston back into the gearbox, put the gearbox all back together, and um, do a test shot. And remember, like I said, uh, before doing this mod, exact same internals, nothing's been changed except for the Swiss cheesing of the piston. It was shooting. 355 to 360 maybe a max of 365 so let's see all right so here we are outside um sorry for the bad camera angle and all i'm filming this on my phone so i'm kind of jury rigging um a tripod base mount for the uh phone so right now you can just see the uh screen of the chronograph and um i have the gun all assembled the uh, modded piston in there and let's see how it's shooting. We're just going to be doing uh, a feet per second test with .20s because rate of fire shouldn't change much or anything. So this is what really matters. So um, I'm actually really impressed. That was actually the first time I've tested it, and as you can see, it's shooting. Um, originally, like I said, it was shooting 355 to 360, um, and now it's shooting high 370s to um, 380. So that's over a 20 uh, feet per second increase. And like I said, that that piston um, has a small metal piece in it, so it's a relatively heavy piston. Um, so if I modify that, and as well, you can still cut more out of the piston. Um, just, you'll be, um, possibly if you cut too much, uh, compromising the structural integrity. Uh, if you look back in the video, you'll see that I didn't go anywhere close to the back end of the piston because that's where, um, the pickup tooth is and you don't want to cut any of that. So just leave that little section alone. And, uh, but you can cut more. Um, you can definitely cut more off the rest of the piston, sort of the middle section where those holes are you could cut some of those um, out more so I'm actually really impressed with that um, just a couple difference of a couple grams and um, yeah so as you can see 20 feet per second increase so thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys later